Hey guys, oh, welcome back. So, as you can tell from the title, this is my little mini haul that I did, um, I think like last weekend. Everything was in, I think, the same weekend. So, I'm excited. This is the first haul for the season, guys, and you know how much I love my clearance lens. You guys know. So, first, let's get started. First things first, let's go with the David Austin Roses. $5 five dollars i'm not even joking i got three so oops sorry oops. this is a david austin rose called darcy bustle i hope i'm pronouncing it right it was a five dollars honey five dollars i don't know if you guys can see but i will zoom in this was five dollars so i got one darcy brussel and two jubilee celebration five dollars from my favorite store you guys know where i shop you guys know where I shop and for you guys who are new and you are not sure where I shop check the comments below I'm sure someone will mention the blue store so here is the Jubilee celebrations gorgeous I mean just beautiful five dollars so I randomly every now and again I'll pop into the store and the first place I go is always always the clearance section so I just popped in and I saw David Austin because Lowe's never carried David Austin roses before ever I popped in and I saw David Austin roses I was like oh really and then it says five dollars I was like this must be wrong this is incorrect so I grabbed three <laughs> went to went to check out and I had no issues there were five dollars David Austin roses you know how many people kill to have David Austin roses in your garden five dollars so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna share this as you can see with all the dried leaves and stuff I'm gonna share it back repot them in bigger pots and um, water them really really well and and see what happens okay next you guys probably won't even believe me next so this right here is uh, diamond frost euphoria by proven winners one dollar one dollar so I bought 12 Hi. I mean, I bought 10, sorry. So I bought a whole flat and then there's two extra ones stuffed in between. So this was $10. This whole thing right here was $10 because each plant was a dollar each. Oops, sorry. Knocking things over, uh-oh. Then, do you remember last weekend or the weekend that passed where we had the, that freeze, that random freeze out of nowhere and everyone was just like rambling around trying to cover up their plants, protect their annuals. The day after, it was that Friday night, right? Saturday morning, first thing I did, I went to the blue store and look what I bought. Let me show you. I bought two flats. This is yellow super cow patoka. It's a petunia, but I don't know why they call it patoka. It's an annual. It's beautiful. It has burgundy purple color around the edges. I mean, gorgeous. They were a dollar each, and I bought two flats. So I bought 16 in total. There's one here, and then there's one there. I mean, gorgeous. They are so beautiful. There's nothing wrong with these guys, and nothing. They are healthy, in perfect condition. So I don't know why they put them on a clearance rack, but I'm not complaining, and I'm not asking any questions. You hear me? You don't want them? I'll take them. My garden will gladly take them. So that's that. Also, this flat of what are these called now upright verbena look at this color guys a dollar i don't know if you guys can see the price tag but it's a dollar okay so i bought a whole flat i mean when it's a dollar why buy one or two it's a dollar so i'm not gonna pay um i'm not gonna just pick up one or two i'm gonna take the whole thing then this is this was three dollars this is rose marvel salvia i bought two they were three dollars each so i bought two of them because that's all i could find 
and then right here this is an african daisy it's pink this was a dollar as well it was the only one it just needs to be deadheaded um, and fertilized because these are annuals you can fertilize your annuals so these are annuals and um, I'm gonna cut this back and give it some fertilizer this was a dollar I could not leave it <laughs> next thing these need some water I haven't gotten around to water anything so they're looking a little bit droopy this is a yellow something daisy Gerber daisy it seemed like daisy is the big trend for this season I bought six of them I bought six of these but there I have them back here because they cannot fit on a table and then there's one right there in the front so I have six of these guys beautiful they don't have a smell so yeah all right next thing this is a uh, hot snow white lobelia a dollar so guess what? I bought a whole flat. <laughs> like I said, if it's a dollar, why buy two or three? I bought the whole flat. And this is my thing. They had more, so I'm not greedy. I always leave some for other people. But what I do is if I shop today, I go like three and four days later back to that same store. And if the same things I left are still there, then I'm going to clean up. I gave you ample enough time to get to the store and do what you want to do. And if nobody wants them, they can come home with me. Okay? Next up, hydrangeas. You guys know I love my hydrangeas? So I bought two because that's all they had. Now these, the original price for this, the original price for this was $27. So I paid $13, which is not bad. I paid $13 for this. It needs to be watered really, really bad. I'm slacking on that. So I have two right here. Um, also, These are, as you can tell, these are perennials. They're out of bloom. These are um, tiny shadow Asiatic lilies. They were three dollars a piece. I love the color on them. These are two. They're two different ones. I love the color on them. They are amazing. I just cannot wait. So I'm going to plant them this season, and the next season in spring they'll come up and give us a nice show in early summer. Oof. So yeah. What? Disrespectful. It's a fly. Before I forget, this is an annual as well. This is a violet white, a voltage white African daisy. Like I said, it seems like daisy is a theme for this season. So you know what? My garden's gonna be filled with daisies this season. This is an annual as well. This was three dollars, and this is a beautiful soft white with yellow undersides. I mean, come on! And it has a whole bunch of new buds coming up on here. Honey, clearance is the way to go, guys. I'm telling you. I'm telling you guys, so this is a perennial. This was a dollar. This is a Spring King Mini Salvia. It blooms like a dark purple bluish color. Great. So what I'm gonna do with everything, I'm gonna water everything in once again. I'm gonna repot my rose maybe this evening or I don't know, next couple days. I just need to, it's a lot going on around here, guys. You guys know how it goes in spring when you're trying to go over your stuff. Plus, I have two newborns. By the way, guys, the twins are three months old. Can you believe it? They are three months old already? Crazy. So I'm busy with that. So I am a busy mom, okay? So this is my mini haul. I think I have about 50-something plants here. But as you can tell, three, four of the, the flats are the same thing. So I have two flats of these petunias. Um, Euphorbia and Lobelia. I'm gonna work these in some containers. I think I'm gonna put these in the landscape. Landscape, of course. I mean, these are gonna go, these will be in containers. I have more success with roses in containers than I do in the ground. Don't ask me why, honey, I don't know. But I'm gonna put these in containers to get them started and then eventually, maybe a season or two, I'll put them in the ground. So, that's it so far guys that's all i have for right now this is my first haul of the season and it's very early in the season so 
whenever you get out there if you do go out there one protect yourself social distancing six feet apart always wash and sanitize your hands your keys your phone whatever and then you clear that rack honey you hear me don't left nothing behind don't leave anything behind because I leave stuff behind because I know my stores you might see something and then you're like you know what? I'll come back for it no because you're gonna come back someone like me is gonna come after you and I'm gonna clean the shelf up so what you need to do is clean them shelf off honey if you have the space so that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching if you are new here please subscribe so you never miss an upload and you can see when I plant all these in the landscape and in containers or wherever I put them in my garden so that's it for now. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.